So there are different formats for, for news reports, and that's something you need to figure out. So you've conquered the checklist so far. You know where you want to go for the tone of the story. You've got the reporting and the research done, but now what are we going to do? Is it going print, online, video, photo, audio, social media, online list? A lot of these decisions need to be done before you start the whole entire news gathering process because if you need video, you need to shoot the video. If you need photos, you need to get the photos, so on. So a lot of the news formats you know, like the front page of the New York Times, pretty standard, it's a newspaper, CNN.com, great website. But have you thought about taking your information and putting them in these formats? So how about these? You can use photos, videos, and social media in smaller pieces to tell a story in a list form that goes online and people can scroll through it. It works on a mobile device and also works on desktop computer and they're very popular. They're called listicles. I'm not a huge fan of the word because it sounds like icicle to me. It doesn't work well in my brain. But yes, a listicle is a real thing and that's what those magic little combined lists are. You see them a lot on something called buzzfeed.com and the huffingtonpost.com. Journalists put them together and for some reason there's a lot of pets in them. This is the one I found on BuzzFeed that was talking about the coolest dogs on Instagram. This was number two. I guess that dog looks pretty cool. Multimedia Online, which is a news report, which is written, embedded with links plus photo plus audio, also make excellent hybrid journalism. But you gotta be prepared to do them because there's a lot of stuff to do. The list that you see next looks like a list, but it's actually an article with different little links. So it's like five, six bullet points of things for you to know. If you want to learn more information, you just click on the blue stuff. But here's things you need to know that could also tell your story. What about a photo gallery? Just showing a day or a scene, letting people get a feel for it. Podcasts. Podcasts are super popular. It's like a little mini radio show that's recorded that people can listen to at their own convenience online. You could use Storify, Snapchat. There's so many different ways you can take your content which is your reporting, and move it forward. The bottom line is, you've got to use the form that works the best for your news report and reaching and serving your audience.